Hello, everybody, and greetings again from Sunny Hill. It's good to connect with you once more through this virtual medium of Facebook Live. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to continue to do one of these reflections on a daily basis each day, I hope, around 2.30 or so. So I hope you'll join us for those. And we'll also continue to stream our services on Sunday mornings live at 10 a.m. So I hope you'll join us for those things as well. In addition, we're looking into a number of other ways for our members and friends to connect with one another. And you'll be receiving some communication soon about doing some electronic check-ins and other activities to try to keep us connected with one another during this time of isolation and disconnectedness, at least physically. But today I'd like to share with you a poem that was written. Again, this is a poem that was written in the last week in response to the pandemic. And this particular poem was written by Richard Hendrick, who, uh, as I understand it, is a Franciscan friar, and you can hear some of the Franciscan influence. This poem is titled Lockdown by Richard Hendrick. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that just after a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the household, the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen, behind the factory noises of your panic, the birds are singing again, the sky is clearing, spring is coming, and we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. That's it for today. Be well and be safe and we'll be in touch soon.